In this video, I'll be working another example of finding a limit using the squeeze theorem. So the limit we'll be looking at is the limit as x tends to 0 of x squared times the cosine of 3 over x. So remember our goal here is to find functions that near x equals 0 bound this function both above and below and have those and pick those functions such that they approach the same limit as x tends to 0. So what I want you to remember is that cosine of anything, and in this case we're dealing with 3x, always ranges between 1 and negative 1. Right? So no matter what you're taking the cosine of, you can't really get a number. You can't ever get a number that's outside of this interval here. So our goal is to do some algebra to make this look like this function here, to turn this function into this function. So what are we going to do to this inequality? Well, well we can multiply all pieces of the inequality by x squared, but we have to be careful. As x tends to zero, so for small fractions, coming in from the right, what, what does that do to x squared? Well, if x is positive, then x squared is going to be positive. But what about coming in from the left? If, f, if x is a small negative fraction, then when you square that fraction, it'll still be positive. So the direction of these signs is going to be maintained when we multiply by x squared. Because we're, be, we're, we're going to be multiplying by a positive number. All right. So now you can see we have the function of interest bounded between negative x squared, bounded below by negative x squared, and above by positive x squared. So the limit as x tends to 0 of negative x squared is 0. Because as x gets smaller and smaller, whether or not you're coming in from the right or left, you're squaring smaller and smaller numbers and negating them. You are going to be getting negative numbers, but ones increasingly closer to zero. The limit as x approaches zero of positive x squared, the function that bounds this x squared cosine 3 over x above, is also equal to zero. And that's because as you're getting closer and closer to zero, you're dealing with very small fractions for x. You square them, they become even smaller fractions. And as these fractions become smaller, whether they're positive or negative, you're squaring them, you're getting positive, even smaller fractions, the smaller that x gets. So these two limits are zero. So by the squeeze theorem, the limit as x approaches 0 of the function that's between them around x equals 0 is also going to have to be 0. So the limit as x tends to 0 of x squared cosine of 3 over x equals 0 by the squeeze theorem. I'm going to abbreviate theorem with THM. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of how to go about using the squeeze theorem.